guys, it's Amber, and I'm going to be doing a book review for you guys today. And it's going to be on Nightshade by Andrea Kremer. This is how the cover looks. So gorgeous. This is this book is a little bit bigger than an average sized book. It's the size of Cassandra Clare's hard covered books. Nightshade by Andrea Kremer. When you open the cover, oh, oh, there's distressed pages right over here. It's like so awesome. I love these pages. You open the book, you just get a dark purple cover, and inside is a little bit shimmery. It reminds, okay, no, it's exactly the same feel and everything as Crescendo's own cover and the shimmer inside. So I'm going to be start. I'm going to start off by reading the synopsis. Kala Tor has always known her destiny. After graduating from mountain school, she'll be the mate of sexy alpha wolf Ren LaRoche and fight with him. Side by side, ruling their pack and guarding sacred sites for the keepers. But when she violates her master's laws by saving a beautiful human boy out of the hike, Kala begins to question her fate her existence and every and the very essence of the world she has known but but by following her heart she might lose everything including her own life the for, the forbidden worth is forbidden love worth the ultimate sacrifice okay so that was the synopsis of nightshade so this book is basically about two alphas kala and Ren. kala is the out uh, is the alpha for the nightshade pack and Ren is the alpha for the Banes pack. Each pack consists of I think five um, members I guess in each pack and Kala and Ren are destined or were I guess be betrothed I guess since birth so they can make the new pack. So their two packs will come together and Ren will be Kala's mate and they are going to form a new pack together to, I guess, make it bigger and stuff. So it, right in the beginning, the very, very, very first page, Kala is saving a human boy from a hike or human boy on a hike from a grizzly bear. She saves his life. She's like, what the hell, I'm never going to see you again, right? And then, boom, he comes to her school. She just doesn't even know why she had to save the guy. And that's Shay. I really love the way Kala acts. Like, their union is when Ren and Kala finally, officially become mates. Are together, married, and stuff like that. And that... They get married on Samhain, a.k.a. Um, Halloween. I love the way Kala acts because she's the pack leader of, um, she's the alpha for the Nightshades. And everybody listens to her and stuff. Um, I like the way she, I, like, I like the way everybody respects her. And it's her decision and stuff. But I, I wonder how, like, in the book it says, like, um, like for example, it says someone did something and then I, I made a low growl. I rum I don't know, something like that. Like, I just wonder how they growl. How, what do they mean by they growl? Like, do they literally growl and stuff? The humans know to stay away from the packs. They don't know what they are, but they know... They're smart enough to not interact with them, with the packs. Yeah, at the end, um, Kala starts to question her own destiny and what she has to do, um, why she does it and stuff. But Kala, uh, this is a very good book. This book, I give this book a 5 out of 5 stars. I was really looking forward to reading this. That's why I was reading it two books at the same time because I wanted to get one done or I wanted to get one over with and I wanted to read this right away 
So, I am so happy I read this. I cannot wait for Wolf's Bane. Oh, gosh. This thing just ended, like, where you wouldn't want a book to end. Ugh. So, um, definitely, definitely pick this up, guys. I am, I think this is my first werewolf book that I've read, but I have, like, three... Um, I have, uh, Sugar, Sugar, Shiver right behind me, and Linger, and Raised by Wolves up there, if you guys can see it, it's next to the Hunger Games. Um, so Nightshade, so beautiful, I love this cover, especially the Distress pages, I love it. Okay, so, okay, I've been bowling a lot lately, and... When I say a lot, like I went to the bowling alley yesterday and today. Oh my gosh. When I say a lot, I bowled, I mean, I'm not, I'm not telling, I'm not kidding you. I bowled like so many games, like probably over 10 games. And I, I hook my ball, like I curve it and look. See, if you guys have um, seen in my other video, like I think, was this a book haul or something? I don't know. But then I had this on my finger like there's right here it's a blister and then right here my skin's peeling up here then this one is starting to bliss be blister but this one the skin came out today because i bowled again today a lot so oh i don't know bowling is really messing up my thumb but i'll manage i guess but anyways i'm getting sidetracked um so i am now planning on reading um, I don't know, The Body Finder. If not The Body Finder, then, ugh, I don't know. I have a lot of books I haven't read yet, but most likely The Body Finder by Kimberly Dirting. And that is, oops, right over here, The Body Finder by Kimberly Dirting. So, yeah, guys, this is my book review on Nightshade by Andrea Kramer. This is a 5 out of 5 star book and I definitely recommend that you guys pick this book up ASAP. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Bye!